Worldwide competition in manufacturing often introduces innovations, both great and small. It can change the way things are done in American manufacturing. The principles of lean manufacturing taught at Southeastern Community College guide the way. Next, on Elevate Iowa, see how one Southeast Iowa manufacturer benefits from getting lean. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. One of our big success stories uh, in, in the Burlington area is, is WineGuard that, that makes uh, some satellite receivers uh, so that you can get uh, direct TV when you're tooling around in, in your motorhome. And they do some really cool stuff in there and they've been a, a great success. We've done a number of uh, lean programs internally with them, with the folks that have been participating in our IM grant, and I'm excited to hear some of the other new things that are coming down the pike with them as a result of participating in the IM grant. Traditional manufacturing is mostly about uh, large-scale batch manufacturing. There's a lot of uh, support required. There's a, really a lot of complexity, uh, requires a lot of experts. Uh, we want to get back to our roots of really putting the decisions of our company back in the hands of our value-added operators instead of uh, making decisions somewhere off it in an office somewhere or by somebody who's not connected to the process. My definition of lean is process improvements that basically improve our quality, safety, and productivity throughout the facility all the time, any given day. The education basically helps us progress along that lean journey. Within that lean journey, the participation with SCC allows us to show the individuals at our workforce basically that it's just not leadership telling them to do things. The way that we used to process paperwork in here is that we would do a transaction um, on that receiver, putting into a rack location. You'll see a rack location here on, on the rack. Um, this, we used to have one of these for every spot in the facility. The product would be keyed to those spots um, for ease of find, we thought. What we found is all those transactions caused errors in our process, would cause inventory errors, uh, we couldn't find stuff, we could ha we'd have wrong counts and different things of that. We moved into the facility about two and a half years ago. From that point, um, we started this journey with the, with the value streams about, oh, I would say a year and a half now that, that we're into it and breaking the warehouse down in that manner. Um, and it, it's helped us drastically in a couple things when we do inventory. The partnership right now is, is where we send in frontline leadership. Um, the frontline leadership is, is basically um, going to the classes to understand lean principles and they bring those lean principles back to the manufacturing work floor to put them in use is what we do with that. We also send, send some of our floor workers. Our floor workers would particip participate in that program, um, allowing them to um, broaden their, their view of what lean means in, in the manufacturing facility um, and helps us evolve changes throughout the company. The lean journey nearly didn't happen in southeastern Iowa. A false start halted the much needed education program before it could take effect. But strong wills and hard work brought the Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant into the story. It was 2005 when Southeastern Community College established this idea of the Certified Professional Lean Practitioner Program, and that was with contribution from local industry. And um, from that, we moved forward and we had some pretty good cooperation. We had three founding companies and a variety of other companies that were participating. And then 2008 hit and there was an economic downturn and the program languished to some degree. So we were very excited to be able to rejuvenate it and, and build it into what the original intention was through the IM grant. We had several local companies that got behind us and said, yeah, we'll support you. And we had an advisory board that worked to make sure that we were actually developing this three-tiered credential that would allow us to introduce people at the floor level to lean manufacturing credentials and take it all the way on through to people who were responsible for policy deployment. So that advisory board helped us a lot. The lean program is very extensive. It's a very long program. It can be spread out over years for someone to earn all three certifications, uh, to get all three levels of the lean program. So often we would 
make sure that students knew what classes were coming up and we would provide audits to students that would reveal exactly what they've done and what they have left to do so they wouldn't get lost within the program. Overall, it's a 550-hour program, um, which includes implementation activities. One of the things our advisory really helped us with was to say, you know what, there's a lot of coursework out there, and coursework is good, but people need to be able to come back and apply it. Lean has made a huge uh, difference in the way WineGuard does business. We used to have piles of inventory, literally walls of boxes of pre-made parts lining the building. And over the years, we have dwindled and driven that down to now, many of our parts are held right at the line side. We try to challenge them to use those processes. We involve our, our employees on the floor, even at a different level that may not have been to the classes. We'll, we'll involve them in improvement processes throughout the facility. We allow them to come up with ideas. Those ideas that they come up with, then we verify that, that their action will help with safety, productivity, or quality. And within that, then we will implement those processes through the system. So we're getting 100% interaction from the floor level up to management throughout the system.